good though. Oh, it's all for the badonky It's donks. all for badonky donk. Yankee and Brittany, our Tim Radio Network. Hello to the big Bozo Barn Grill way up yes, north there in the hello. frozen, frigid tundra of the Brown Eye State. What's going on, you guys? Nice to see you, Mrs. Dave. Hello, uh, Uncle Larry, and everybody else that's out there. I hope you've got us banging out your speakers, Mrs. Dave. Oh, look what we got here then. Keith Sampson in the house. Yes, yes and he's sir. he's going to be joining us tomorrow night. He woo, will woo, be. Woo. Keith Sampson joining us tomorrow night. Uh, that's going to be good. Tonight we have the uh, Houston Bernard Band. Houston, how do you say that? Houston Bernard Band. Houston Bernard Band. That's British. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I say Bernard, you say Bernard, so we'll have to ask them what the you proper tomato, way is. You say tomato, I say tomato. You say neither, and I say neither. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's say hello to these guys in the chat room. Hello in the chat, and hello all you outsiders, too. Yeah, nice to have you guys look, tuned in tonight. Look, It'll be a good Kim show. And, uh, Kim and Don Schmidt's in the chat room, and Mr. Jeff is waving. Jace just came in the room. Good Ted, day, Mike. Ted's there, and Rachel is in the chat as well. Good day, good day. The Daves are there from the bar, Larry. Dave is too? I believe so. Or just so. Mrs. Dave. I just see the lovely Mrs. Dave. Well, give her a whistle then. <whistles> Hello, baby. There's I Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Looking. What's going on? Nice to see you. And, of course, Sandy, the old cranky pants. And Jace and Brenda has just come in the chat room. Hey, look over here. What, what, what? Who's that over there in the corner? It's the Don. The Don. What's up, Don? How are you, buddy? Hey. Ted Williams. Look at these guys, and man. The bra Jeff Holmes. the the tits has just walked in the chat room. Late as usual, but she's here. And then Debra. Eight minutes late, Mrs. Debra. And, uh, and Brenda's here. Yes. Oh, come on in. Grab yourself a chair, sit down, and relax. Pull up a pew. Have a poo. I says pull up a pew. Pull up a poo. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys have got poo on the brain tonight already. Mm -hmm. Typical. So, we have the Houston Burner Band coming on at the top of the hour, guys. That's good you stuff. You're going to love that new music. Yeah, you're going to love them. I think we'll probably get a couple of tunes on before they come on, just to uh, loop you guys Right, up. and we're going to throw a Keith Sampson yes. tune in here just for Keith. Yes, he's going to be on tomorrow night. Yeah, oh. that's some really cool stuff there. I can't wait to listen to all that. Yes, and we love your CD already, don't we? Oh, uh, we got our CD to pick and from. And we've not even listened to it. We just like the little cover on the actual CD <laughs> itself. <laughs> yep, that's right. And thank you for the uh, autograph. That's very cool, man. Yes. That uh, goes in our collection of CDs. Very cool. Yes, we are the luckiest people because we have lots of signed CDs yep. from lots of people. It says, Keith Sampson, Yankee and the Brit, thanks for all you do for the trucking industry. Oh, for what I could do for the trucking industry. <laughs> so much that needs to be done. So little time. So many trucks. So little real drivers. Larry oh, said, even motor mouths here, which is Jeff. Hey, <laughs> that. I said, Larry said, even motor mouth is here, which is Jeff. Oh, right. Jeff is all the way down the chat room. I see that. Wow, well, busy night in here tonight. So what have we got to play, Mr. Yankee Pants? Well, we're just kind of rolling down the list here. we got a lot of Larry tunes in here. we got some of the people that we've had as guests, of course. We'd love to play all their music because it's all awesome stuff. I'd like to dedicate a whole show to everybody we've had on the show here. That would be a hell of a good show in itself. Yes, sir. Other than that, though, just uh, lots of good stuff. So I guess we'll, uh, you know what? Let's just throw this Keith Sampson tune on here right now because it's all loaded up and ready to go. Shall Hammer! we? Hammer! Right then, let's have at it. <laughs> You're listening to Randy and Donna on the Yankee and the Brit Show. Yankee and Brit, yeah. over it. Shut up, I'm talking over here. Damn it. <laughs> Randy was just talking about if he had nine inches, he says he'd be tripping over it. I says you can't even walk past your three inches without It'd be falling like those over. stupid shoelaces. They just keep coming untied all the time. <laughs> oh, anyway, excuse me. I have to strap it to my us. shoulder, Ethel. Be quiet over there. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Kelly Lee Phillips? Hello, girl. How are you? Hi. Nice to see you're in the house for a little bit there. And of course, Keith, Keith Sampson, who's going to be joining us uh, tomorrow night. He's going to be here at uh, 7.30. You want to come check that? I love that tune, man. It's awesome. Yes. Huh? The guy's got it all going on over there. Tonight, Houston Bernard <laughs> Band. <laughs> the Houston Bernard Band. <laughs> I, gotta, I can't wait to ask him, how the hell do you say that the right way? <laughs> and then, uh, of course, on uh, February 11th at 8 p.m., we're going to have the Greg Finger Band with us. So that's next week. It's yes. going to be awesome, man. Yes, great bunch of um, young 
handsome men with some great, great music. Yeah, Kelly's knocking them off over there like a six pack. Got to get it and, done, uh, man. And tomorrow, you guys have been asking in the chat how to get that CD. You are going to have to wait until tomorrow for Keith to tell you how to purchase that CD. You're going to have right. to tune in tomorrow. Yeah, some pretty good music on there. That's right. Save all that stuff for tomorrow night. Yes, sir. There's Chris Make. Uh-oh, hey. there's the line dancer himself. How'd that go last Where night? Where was the videos of your line dancing? Are there any videos? wounds or bruises from trying to line dance? Mr. Rock and Roll? <laughs> That's... Hey, what was that there then? I was just checking we had sound because Chris said I've got soul I've got soul but no volume. What? Well what is he he's talking got, about again. He's got soul, but he just can't hear what's going like on over there. Oh, baby. Hey, Mouth is here. Hi, Christine. Yes, How are Mouth you? Almighty and somebody else chubby. came in the room I wanted to say hello to, and I don't know who it was it then. That strange man Keith Sampson, he's in the chat. I uh, I guess uh, well, I'll figure it out later, I guess. Hello, whoever you are. <laughs> yeah. Whoever you happen to be that came in the chat. Oh, room. she's cranky pants tonight. Okay, good. That's my favorite. <laughs> That's a better name. All right, then. So, anyways, I think we about got it all squared up for the moment. Great lineup. Can't wait till the Houston Bernard Band gets here. Uh, what, about a ha little over half an hour? That's going to be yes. cool. In the meantime, we're going to go over here and kick out some more of that country favorite music kind of stuff over there. Matt Van Fossen and Boom. Down here on the farm, the weather gets messy. Playing around with nothing to do. When you went away, you took my cow Bessie. I miss her, darling, more than I miss you. You took off your leg, your wig, and your eyeglass. You should have seen the look on my face. I wanted to kiss, I wanted to hug you, but you were scattered all over the place. Where, oh, where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and I thought I found true love. You met another and you was gone. She's the best. She's the best. Oh, that's good. I wanted to win a Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network, a country Saturday night with the Houston Bernard Band coming up here at 8 o'clock. These guys are cool, too. We're going to throw a couple of those at you here in just a little bit. Yeah, we've got Probably one here. Probably about another by. 10 minutes or so, we'll uh, play a few of those so you get yep. an idea who they are and what's going on. We've got one here by the Greg Finger Band. We do. If only. The Greg Finger Band, these guys they are going to be... look young and cute and just old. Young and they look younger adorable. than they look they younger than my son. <laughs> they do, but the music's absolutely. Well, I am awesome. starting to feel old. You know what I mean? All these country singers are younger than I am. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, Greg Finger Band. They'll be here February 11th next weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, can't wait to check them out. And we have it on good authority that Kelly is going to go on the hunt for some more bands for our show. Oh, she's such and a doll. has she ever let us down with music? She Not yet. She has always sent us the greatest people, the most awesome people with the greatest personalities and the most fantastic music. Can you fault her The first, The first time we get a cranky one, then she's oh, done. Oh, she's That's done. it. She's, she's getting the, the boot. Bin. She's going to get the boot, <laughs> that's for sure. Country night, getting the boot, you can't beat that. All right. Well, anyways, can you play another song off Keith CD uh, for who? What does that say? For Sabdi? Sandy. Oh, for Sabdi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course I will. Just hang on a minute. Damn it. I can only do so much at a time, Jim. He's dead, Jim. All right. If only the Greg Finger Band with the Yankee and the Brit. 25 minutes till the top of the hour. On I'm a just country. joking, Kelly. We'd never stick you in the... Well, we'd stick you in the bin, but we'd make sure we stick you in head first so your legs are up in the air. Oh, I got a great idea. First what? time she screws up, we fill her boots up with sand and prop her up by the jukebox. Yes. That'll fix her. Yes, All right. Sir. Can I now? I was just about to say, anyway, 25 minutes to the top of the hour, we will have the Houston Burnett band on to give us some awesome music. And uh, I think we should put that yoga pants tune on soon. I think that was pretty cool. <laughs> and the video was just hilarious. You we'll guys should check it out. Time. Go on YouTube later on when you're done here. I mean, you're not leaving here yet. <laughs> later on, go on YouTube and type in Houston Bernard Band yoga Are you pants. done yet? All right, I'm done. All right, then. Can I play the song, then? Fine. If only Greg Finger Band. <laughs>
Jeez. <laughs> the Greg Finger Band. Talk about it. Kelly says she'll dance by the jukebox. You ever get quiet for a minute? Wow. Just wow. If only yeah. Greg Finger Band. We got another tune from those guys coming up here after our guest. And they will be joining us on the 11th. Like I say, they just look so young, and I can't believe those voices come from such young faces. You hear that faces. voice? Yeah. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, they man. are. They're it. amazing. Uh, Houston Bernard Band going to be joining us here at 8 o'clock. We have a few of their tunes we're going to jam here. But before we do that, we're going to fill one more request. That's going to be for Keith Sampson. Uh, yes, Kelly, have a listen to this chap that we're about to put on right now. Oh, this Keith bloke's Sampson, jolly good, that's for bloke, sure. This and, uh, dodgy geezer. I've got all your requests lined up for after uh, the Houston Bernard Band is here, so uh, don't panic. And I got that special song for Kelly all lined up over here. We'll play that one. In the meantime, let's get over here with Keith Sampson in 30 years. <laughs> Do we not have the coolest country music in the world? We yes, do. we do. Yankee and Brit, the uh, RTM Radio Network, Random Man, and Donna here with you on a country Saturday night, the Houston Bernard Band, coming up at 8 o'clock. We're going to play some of their tunage right Bernard now. Bernard Band, it's Bernard. That's right. And then when we get back from them, uh, we have another Greg Finger tune, uh, Wagon Wheel, Brothers of the Highway, a special song for Kelly. I hope she sticks around to hear them. we got all this good stuff lined up and ready to go. Well, in the meantime, Kelly let's get over is here lined up and with, she's lined up. She's lined up at the front with the rest of them with a big, massive pot of popcorn. And she's got the front seat. You know, she paid for some special tickets from the Yankee and the Brit. <laughs> I hope it's got lots of <laughs> butter on it. Like when we went to the movie in uh, White, right? Oh, that was dripping. Are you kidding me? The that more butter, dripping. the better. I'd look like a buttered, battered ball of I told whatever. you, see, she said she's lined up at the front. A big pot of popcorn. It's and awesome. Some Coke and some peanut M and M's because we have loads of peanut M and M's. Lord knows we got enough M and M's to last everyone for the next six months. Thanks to Deborah. <laughs> there she is. Look, there's Deborah that holds the tits. She's back. Oh, no wonder I have an upset stomach. M and M's. I know we was munching them this afternoon while we was working. I, I know, was like, right? They got uh, a couple more while just, you're talking there. I just need a drip. Just put right in there. Get in my belly. <laughs> Yeah, can you get a drip tube for peanut <laughs> M&M's? I'll plug it right into it. Oh, baby. Keep talking oh dirty God. to me. I like it. Hey, let's get some of these uh, Houston Bernard songs in here. Uh, they'll be here in about 15 minutes. So, uh... Hello. Just letting her know I'm that we're so still... so going to kill you. Just letting her know that we haven't ate them all just yet. <laughs> <laughs> yet. Oh, is that our candy bowl now? A roll of duct tape. Our, yeah, our, our duct tape. Our uh, In fact, it's, bowl uh, for M&M's is a roll of tape. It's we clear uh, priority mail tape from the post office. Makes a great candy dish. Can't wait till they melt on my desktop and I run my mouse through it. How nice is that? All right, let's get on over here. Houston Bernard Band. We're going to kick it off here with some yoga pants. Houston Bernard Band and Country Crowd, Yanking the Britney RTM Radio Network, Country Saturday Night. They'll be joining us here in just a few minutes. Unbelievable. Those guys rock, man. That's fantastic. Kelly, you're a hero. Got to tell you. Greg Finger's joining us in the group, man. That's yes, uh, pretty cool. he is about to do a gig tonight. We're going to have him on the show next. Uh, what is it? Is that Saturday or Sunday? It'll be Saturday. February 11th, 8 yes. p.m. Going to have him join us. Going to be some great stuff. You've got some awesome music. We played that one tune already. We'll play another one here after our guests leave. Um, Hi, Eric. Get a good taste of what we got going on and what's happening around here with the Yankee and the Brit. Busy, busy, busy. That's the best thing. Nice to have you joining us. Very cool. Uh, thanks for everybody for tuning in, too. This is some good stuff, man. I can't believe I'm starting. I think I'm starting to like country night a little bit better than I'm liking rock and yes. roll night. <laughs> yes, and thank you, Kelly. She brings us the most awesome people ever here, the best, mm. the best music ever. She is the breastest. And the music just keeps getting better. That's the thing. Yes. You can't beat that. 
All righty then. Uh, let's see. Do we have time for one more song? Have you uh, heard anything yet? Stick over a there? quick uh, Greg Finger Band song on, and uh, we are just waiting for the you want to do that? Burner Band. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, tune on. All right. Let's do that there then. Uh, this is the Greg Finger Band trying to find love. Yankee and a Brit Country Saturday on Night on the RTM Radio Network. I was born in a- my. Oh my gosh, there's going to be a few chills in the air tonight when these guys are singing. I'm telling wow, you, I love that style too, man. That Woo-hoo. is great. Well done, Mr. Finger. He's playing at the uh, Kentucky uh, Western Kentucky University tonight too. Yes. So, oh, lucky crowd, lucky yes, crowd. Yes, have an amazing night, guys. Wow. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. This music uh, is just unbelievable. I'm just like totally blown away to think that uh, we get to play all this great music. Unbelievable stuff, man. Makes my whole night. Great, great. I can't even say it enough. Uh, let's see then. Uh, all right then. Our guests, they haven't got them on the phone yet. Haven't heard anything. We're still waiting. But in the meantime, we have another one of their tunes here we'll throw on. Uh, where'd it go? I lost it already. There it is. Home in Your Arms, a Houston Bernard band. On a country Saturday night, Random Man and Donna, on the RTM Radio Network. The RTM Radio Network on a country Saturday night, 8.06. Got now it we going on are over about here. to get a call from the Houston Burner Band, so we're, uh, we're all hooked up and ready. We're just waiting on them, but they will be calling in, so uh, just hang on in there. The music is absolutely awesome tonight. Ted Finger Band and the Houston Burner Band, wow. And don't forget Woo! Keith. And Keith Sampson yes, as well. Sir. Yes, he's going to be on tomorrow night at 7 I know, can't wait to get him in Central there. Standard Time. <laughs> Oh, hillbilly like myself over there, I reckon. I don't know. Is he from West Virginia? Did I read that right somewhere along the way? Who? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> well, anyways, we got one more from the Houston Bernard Band. Let's check it out. Ready to leave. We have the Houston Bernard Band. No, we do not. We have oh, we just lost him. Lost him. Yes, oh, but he no. will be joining us back. Phone connection so, uh, problems. Yeah, I do believe he's having problems over there. But uh, if we get him in, we get him in. Hopefully, he'll... Um, Hopefully he'll call back in. Ask him what kind of phone he has. <laughs> you just want to know what kind of phone No, not yet. What kind of phone are those phones that keep <laughs> blowing up all the time? That's probably what it is. <laughs> Might be on fire in his back pocket. Hey, here hey, he is. Hey, there he is. Hey, here is hey, Houston how are you? What hey. kind of phone you have? Is it blowing up over there or what? No, it's, uh, it's doing all right. It's, uh, I was just in a, uh, a little lull. I didn't have a reception. Ah, all right. As long as it's not one of those ones going to blow up in your pocket. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. That's going to leave a mark if it does. So how are you doing For tonight, sure. Houston Bernard? What a cool name. Thanks. It's a family name. Uh, it's named after an uncle, uh, originally from Oklahoma. Was his... And uh, I'm doing good. Was his name Houston? Houston Bernard, yeah. he. Uh, on my dad's side, there were 15, I'm sorry, 13 siblings, and uh, he passed when he was about, Houston Bernard passed when he was about uh, two years old on the farm, and uh, my my dad named me after him. Thirteen siblings. Oh, wow. Have they all got a musical background, or is it just yourself? Uh, most of them played music, but my uncle and my dad played a lot of music. They toured with a lot of people like Dave Dudley and uh, Tanya Tucker. Uh, Reba McIntyre did one of my uncle's songs, stuff like that. Wow. What, uh, what's your part in all of this? Uh, how many of you are there? And is, is this a whole band, right? Uh, it's, uh, I have a band um, <clears throat> of uh, regular guys that I work with and, and use for the past uh, three albums. Uh, but, you know, I'm the guy. I'm, I'm making all the moves and singing and, you know. Well, you're doing a great doing job. I, I got to tell you, that music is fantastic, whatever you got going on over there. What, uh, what, instrument, Thanks a lot. what instrument do you play? Besides vocals, of course. Well, I'm the, yeah, I play, um, I play, uh, you know, play guitar and a uh, little piano, mostly. <clears throat> Who's some of the guys? That's it. <laughs> well, that's plenty, I think. That ought to keep you busy between managing and keeping things organized. How, uh, what else, uh, let's see, what was I going to say? I forgot already. Tell us about your yoga pants song, because that, <laughs> that had us giggling over here. You know, you guys are the boners in your yoga pants. <laughs> <laughs> You're awesome. Um, did you see the video? Oh yeah, yes, we did. absolutely. That's the one I'm talking about. Oh, made me blush. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think you missed all the good shots of the yeah. yoga pants, though. You left all the good shots out. <laughs> we're we're trying to be fairly tasteful, you know. 
Yeah, I get that. But still, don't forget, there's a lot of guys like that kind of thing. I mean, country music. Sorry. <laughs> country music, yes, of course. <laughs> everyone loves yoga pants. <laughs> oh, well, almost everyone. Donna's getting a kick out of it, that's for sure. Yeah, it gave us, it gave us a good giggle. We had a really good laugh at that one. <laughs> so how'd you come up with that anyways? Did you hey. write that yourself? Uh, I did. I, I came up with the idea, and then I co-wrote it with uh, two other people, uh, Mary Holler and uh, the drummer who has since left the band, Patrick Dalton. He's an amazing talent as well. Um, but, yeah, you know, we just came up with it, and we shot a video for it. It was a lot of work, very low budget, uh, and a lot of fun. Yeah, it, uh, it looks like it. Uh, obviously, you guys have a good sense of humor. That's a big plus. Yeah, we do a lot of laughing. We laugh a lot. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> That's quite a video, i got to tell you. <laughs> um, is anybody else Thanks. in your family musical? He just answered that question. Uh, Are you not paying attention over there? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Besides my dad and my uncle? Um, <laughs> not really. My, my brother, my, I have two brothers, and neither of them are, are musical. I don't know how that happened, but uh, nope. Well, uh, my daughter, I have a daughter, and she's, she's, she's five. What's, uh, what's her take on your music? Does she dance to it a lot or anything? Oh, yeah. She, you put the album on, she'll uh, perform the entire album. Does, does, she realize that it's, <laughs> does she realize it's her dad that's doing that? Oh, yeah. She's, she's, I've been on TV a bunch here uh, locally oh, in New great. England and, uh, you know, with the videos and stuff. She's kind of been a fan. Actually, she told me yesterday, she said that I was her favorite singer. So <laughs> that goes a long way. Sounds like brownie Flattery points to me. Will get you everywhere. Yeah, the especially yoga. when it comes time to get that first car. <laughs> How do you explain well, the yoga pants to a five-year-old? <laughs> well, she she hasn't seen the video. I you know I, I don't know how to explain the video, <laughs> so I didn't show her the video. Probably yeah. a good move at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tough enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is your earliest musical memory? I was, uh, I, I remember writing little jingles when I was like four or five, um, and I remember I have a picture of me with a, uh, a guitar, it's actually a Bee Gees guitar, and I was like three years old, that's probably my earliest memory, and my first uh, favorite music was like Paul Simon, uh, Willie Nelson, uh, wow. people like that. That's quite a collection. Yeah. Uh, now, yoga, we played, uh, we played everything that we've got. Uh, yoga pants, knocking boots, country crowd, hold me in your arms, and of course the one we were playing when you came online. Uh, did you did you write all of those songs? Uh, yes. Yeah, I either wrote them or co-wrote them. Um, and uh, we have a. I'm working on a new album now, our third album, and I co-wrote all those songs except for one. I I, uh, I didn't write, but I really liked it, and I, I I write with one of the writers, and I wanted to to do that song, but. You know, nothing solid yet. We have about eight songs for the new album, and we're probably just going to release singles one at a time. Well, like I said, I can't say it enough how good it sounds. Knocking Boots, what's, uh, how'd Thanks. you come up with that? Uh, the Patrick Dalton, our drummer at the time, came up with uh, part of it, and then we co-wrote it, and I came up with some other stuff with it. But, you know, we there's a place called The Red Is Last Call in Boston, and it's the... Only country venue there. It's a great country venue, seven days a week, amazing music all the time. Uh, a lot of national artists come through. Everyone comes through. It's a great place. And on Friday, Saturday nights, it's packed full with people lying down the street. And we, we just, you know, they're younger people, and we see them dancing and, you know, knocking boots on the dance floor, which is uh, the line from the song. So we kind of, uh, you know, knocking boots is, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the term, is another, another term for, you know, Having sex. Exactly. Well, that's what I was. That's what I was kind of leading up to because I was going to say last time I heard anybody talk about knocking boots, it was in the bed of a pickup truck. So I've never heard that one. But oh I'm yeah, not from, I'm not from around here. But you knocking can tell. boots, baby. Ooh, knocking boots. <laughs> Where yep. are you right now? You're in Kentucky yep. right now. No, I'm in uh, Boston. Oh no, who was who was in Kentucky? I'm getting it all mixed up now. There's uh, so much going on over Greg here. Greg Finger Band. We were playing it. some of his songs earlier, and uh, he's from he's from Kentucky. He's about to do it. You're in Boston. Gig. Yeah, my mother and brother actually live in Kentucky. That's funny. Now, where are you from, and where do you live most of the time? Well, I was born in Oklahoma. I grew up in Alaska and Massachusetts in New York City, and I've I've been in uh, New England for a while. Why? That's what we call the Northeast, by the way, New England. 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm from Ohio. You uh, nice. sound like an army brat. An army brat? Uh, <laughs> that's... You have to explain everything to the British. No, <laughs> no problem. Well, my, uh, my dad was a, you know, a touring musician, so he, he was a broke musician, so he ended up rejoining the army after he had two kids, and we ended up in Alaska where the, uh, the army sent him. Oh, and uh, okay. eventually they split up, and my my dad actually met my mom touring. He's from Oklahoma. My mom's from Mass. He met touring in Massachusetts. Um, that's how that happened. Okay. But that's... eventually they split up, and we ended up back in Massachusetts. So it's, it's just funny. I, there's been quite a number of guests we've had now from the Boston area, and I just never associated, you know, whether it's all of New England or, you know, Boston southward, uh, just – being so much great country music coming from that area there uh there's an amazing country scene in new england there i mean that's why my dad toured up here in, a long time ago but uh it has a resurgence the past five years and there's a lot of great talent in the new england area yeah it sounds a, like it. a lot of great talent i drove truck for 20 yeah. years and i was all over uh new england you know all the way up into maine into canada up at that end and you know, Vermont, New Hampshire, spent yep. weekends all over the place, and uh, just country music in the in uh, in the bars and the clubs and stuff. Just uh, back corsets quite a number of years ago, but it uh, was non-existent for the most part at that point. But man, there's some great stuff coming out of that neck of the woods. You being one of them. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Oh, we love good music here. I, I told uh, Donna. I said, I think I'm starting to like country night a lot better than rock night due to the due to all this great country music that. Uh, Kelly Lee's been pointing us toward, man. You guys uh, just, I can't even say it enough. Just fantastic. Thanks. My, my, I mean, country, I played rock music for a long time. I didn't play country for a while. I didn't want to play country music. And then uh, it just kind of grew on me. And uh, I started playing it. And it became very natural. It was like breathing. And if you look, there's a lot of live videos on our YouTube. Or you can go through our website, HoustonBernardBand.com. And you can see there's a whole there's a live video music series, like 11 videos, uh, five-camera shoot from back in uh, July that was shot at Loretta's Last Call. And uh, you could see the band. It's like, it's very rock. You, uh, but it's mixed, you know? Oh, I think it's great. You're doing a, a lot of live performances now? Yeah, I've tried to uh, minimize a little bit and be a little more selective. Um but we're working in a new drummer right now, getting ready for festival season, and and uh, it'll, it's going to get busy. The festival season starts like uh, about late May, goes all the way to October, and we, we'll stay busy. We'll be doing you know two shows a day on some on some weekends. Let ought to keep you out of trouble for the summer, <laughs> or or into trouble. <laughs> That's well. more like it. That sounds a lot. You funny. really want us to be like we really are. <laughs> <laughs> How do you uh, do? You uh, still get nervous before you before a show? Um, it's easier with the band. I I sang the uh, national anthem on one show. I only did it once, and uh, I was opening up for Scotty McCreary. And I I always thought like, all right, how can you screw up the national anthem? Leave and, it to me. <laughs> ask uh, <laughs> ask Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> so, well, so I I was. Uh, we had a gig the night before, and then we had to set up really early. So we actually literally had an hour of sleep, and then we had another gig that night. So we, there was no sleep, and, I, you know, my voice was pretty much gone. I was just barely hanging on. And uh, I get on the, the main stage to do the national anthem, and I was used to always having my band around. This was a couple years ago. Used having my band around and a guitar or something, and all of a sudden, you know, I'm singing it, and my mind gets the best of me, and I'm starting to think too much. And then I start looping. I start repeating parts of the national anthem. Oh, no. And the crowd catches on. They catch on and they start laughing and they try to help me through it. Uh, <laughs> it was, That's it was cool, an interesting though. moment, but they were very supportive. They were very supportive. And uh, luckily, they didn't, they didn't shame me too much. You know, I, I did serve in the military. I'm, I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty <laughs> patriotic. But, uh, and I've sang the national anthem a million times. But to sing it by yourself while there's a huge crowd staring at you, you're not used to that. You don't prep for it. It's, you know, I, w I will no longer tease anybody for messing up the national anthem. How can you, uh, how can you focus, you know, when all eyes are on you? Boy, that's got to be nerve-wracking. Wow, that's got to be tough. It, it can be. It can be. So, um, yeah, I get, I get nervous before shows. It depends on the show. But um, 
you know, I play at my home spot at Loretta's Last Call in Boston. That's, you know, it's well, you know, very energizing. And Go ahead. Well, you know, there's a chance of redemption on the national anthem. You could sing it live for us <laughs> right now. And that would, you could, uh, get, you could get your redemption. Come on. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't think I can pull it off right now. I've, <laughs> I've got myself a cold, and, and I'm driving, as a matter of fact. Oh, no, talking on the phone and driving. Oh, uh, 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 uh. bad, 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 bad. Bad Bernard. Yeah, I, see, I'm a bad boy. They call me the bad boy of Boston country, you know. That's one of my tags. <laughs> well, I can see why. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, now for the ultimate question I ask everybody. What do you drive? You got a pickup truck? Uh, no, I have a uh, Chevy Equinox. No. Good God almighty. You can't be in country without a four-wheel drive pickup. I'm not very good at cliches. <laughs> well, we're going to have to work on that. This boy needs a lot of work. <laughs> so, right. when did you learn to play? Your musical instruments. I know you mentioned um, when you were uh, three years old with that guitar, um, but when did you actually learn to play one? Well, I started performing professionally, professionally meaning getting paid when I was about 12 years old. And um, Wow. I would play, play any gig that I could get. So you don't have a... Ring, you don't play have a, festivals you, or whatever. You don't have a job other than uh, just playing music? No, I do. I do because it is music and it is not easy to make a living doing um, I actually work as, uh, I have a business, uh, I'm medically certified in massage, Ooh. and I have about, I have about 30 massage therapists that work for me well in Boston, done. we, we do, uh, in-home, yeah, we do in-home services, and, uh, that's how I, I pay my mortgage. And that's how you discovered yoga pants? <laughs> I discovered yoga pants just by being a man, I think. <laughs> that would do it. I'll give you that. And being much. observant, yeah. <laughs> wow, unbelievable! That must be quite a profession, though. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I take it pretty seriously. Obviously, there's a lot of jokes that go along with it uh, for for people that aren't as appreciative of of massage. But uh, serving in the military, I ended up with a lot of injuries, and then uh, I I was a martial artist growing up, a lot of injuries, so I ended up with a lot of pain over the years. I worked with physical therapists and the massage therapists, and uh, then uh, when my uncle was was on his deathbed, my the uncle that played country music for years and years, uh, wrote for Reba McIntyre. Uh, he, you know, he died of lung cancer, never smoked in his life, wow. but I would massage his feet. You know, when I I went down to Nashville to see him, and I massaged his feet, it would bring him some some relief. I'd sing to him, so that's when I thought about massage and how it affected people in a positive light. Uh, it made a difference in people's lives. So that's why I got into massage. Very good. Pretty deep there. Yeah. That's all right. Very Go deep, as deep as you want, man. It's all about it's you. Honest. Do you, uh, you still practice martial arts? Uh, I just I do a little bit in at home, and I'm teaching my daughter. You said, uh, But I don't compete anymore. I used to compete a lot. You said you were in the service? Yeah, I was in the Army. Um, okay, that's what I was going to ask. Which service was it in? What, uh, what was your rank? Yep, uh, I was E4. We have a That's lot it. of uh, people that listen that are, uh, you know, really proud of our soldiers and, uh, you know, think a lot of them. So uh, thank you very much for serving, by the way. Thanks for saying so. Yeah, um, we do what we can. I, there's a lot of events and stuff around um, New England. The next thing we're doing will be in April for a uh, soldier's run. It's a 5K, and the band is playing, and we'll be raising money uh, for soldiers. Very good. What? Yeah, in my personal opinion, our our, gov- our government should be taking care of our soldiers a lot better, and they just don't. They never have. If you look at history, like even back to the Civil War, they just they just didn't take care of our soldiers, and they and they don't. Yeah, but so, they don't have a problem forcing them to even, go to war, do they? Uh, of course not. But whatever. But we, what yeah, do? exactly whatever, because uh, we don't do politics. We have no use for any of that crap. So uh, we leave that <laughs> sit on the side for people that like to fight and argue all the time. We don't care for fighting and arguing. We just yeah. like to uh, have a good time. That's all we do. Who's uh, some of your favorite martial yeah, artists? Bruce Lee at the top of your list? Well, you know, Bruce Lee had a lot of great philosophies. Uh, I cannot quote. Uh, no, actually, I can quote one quote he had, uh, or come close to it, which was, um, he's more afraid of someone who would kick every day for a thousand day, one kick every day for a thousand days, than one person that could kick a thousand kicks in one day. 
Wow, that's basically cool. talking about yeah, basically talking about um, being consistent and um, yeah, consistent. That's that's what success is all about. And exactly. when I play music and I do other things, you know, I, I try to pace myself. I put quality into what I, I I try to put out and share with people, whether it be the shows or um, the music or just the one on one conversations that I that I'm that we talk to people after shows. I enjoy all that time, and people enjoy what we do. That's it's a privilege. It's a huge privilege. And where do you get your inspiration for your music? You know, what do you write about? Oh, um, well, you know, you write about what you see. I think on the uh, the most recent album, a lot of the stuff is just about uh, my lady. I, I uh, and just feeling lucky. Like I have a song called Lucky Man, and the the line goes, you know, basically about meeting her. I was trying to get lucky, ended up a lucky man. Ah. So there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of songs about her, um, but you know you write about what you see and you know what moves you. Obviously, having fun is a lot of that. Yeah, the last album particularly. Um, you know, I have a song just this, uh, from the new. It's going to be on the new album. It's called Ice Cold Beer. You know, it's beer is very inspirational to many of us. <laughs> it's very simple. Keep it simple, and that's that song is going to be a lot of fun. Boy, that's for sure. Well, uh, I think it's all fantastic, man. you got a hell of a thing going on over there. I had no clue that uh, I, I didn't see, I didn't find anything. I really didn't look too hard at the moment. I didn't have a chance, but I was trying to find a, a bio on you or something. I really couldn't find anything. So it's nice to hear all this right from uh, the horse's mouth, if you will, uh, about all the great things you're yeah, doing and you... who you are and where you're from and what makes you what you are. Thanks, yeah. If, if you go to HoustonBernardBand.com, uh, there's a little bio there. It actually talks about my great-great-grandfather. He was a famous outlaw in um, in Oklahoma, Kansas territory. He ran with the Doolin Gang, the James Gang, the Dalton Gang. And um, he his name was George Bitter Creek Newcomb. It's an interesting thing about my family. So does this mean that, <laughs> does this mean that bank robbing is in your blood? Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. That's the thing. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting fact to have, you know, uh, an outlaw. You know, he's in the Time Life Gunfighters book. But it's like he also was an outlaw, so there's not really, you know, not something that you can be really proud of, you know, breaking the law. But it, it is an interesting fact. Yeah, I understand where you're going with that. But yet, you know, there's so many uh, bank robbers that are uh, the proverbial heroes, I guess. So it kind of has its own little uh, genre of a lifestyle there, I guess, for lack of a better way to put it at the moment. Sure. You know, nobody's robbed a train in a long time, and Amtrak runs up and down the East Coast. Just something for you to keep in mind. <laughs> I don't think that's. I don't think that's going to go over well. Well, you really don't want to tell anybody when you I will, do it. <laughs> I will think about it. Though. I will think about it. Yeah, just something to bear in mind. You never know. I mean, you know, music business might fall by the side for a little while. Have a slow spell. You need something to fill in the time. Sure, a little adventure. Well, your music is absolutely fantastic. I got to tell you, man. Everybody here, uh, the the guests in the chat, I'm sure the outside listeners, everybody is just like overwhelmed by the how cool some of this stuff is. Hey, so. uh, tell us about your what? performances on stage. Do you like play in front of really huge crowds? Uh, for sure. I mean, I've, we've had the opportunity to uh, open up for some really large acts like uh, Old Dominion. We've opened up for them a couple times and. Travis Tritt, and uh, we opened up for Montgomery Gentry at the House of Blues. That was a very large crowd. Um, I actually sat in with Brian Adams years ago. Wow. Uh, he brought, yeah, he, he brought some people up on stage, and I, I don't think he knew that I played guitar and sang, and I just started rocking out and played with the band, and uh, that was kind of funny. Yeah, I guess. And Travis Tritt, but, uh, has he in a wheelchair yet? No, no, uh, he was doing an acoustic tour. He did sit in a chair. That's but, uh, uh, I didn't know he was still he out playing anywhere. It. I never hear anything about the guy. Oh, yeah, he, he still sounds sounds the same, and he still draws a crowd, a lively crowd, too. They We had a good time. Yeah, I'll have to look for some of his new stuff. Because, you know, when he came out, man, back, what was it, the early 90s when he became popular? Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, me and yeah. uh, all my uh, truck driving buddies back then, man, we all, uh, we were all about Travis Tritt and Willie and... Um, Gee, we all looked like some of them. Uh, a lot of when I was driving, a lot of people I'd go in these fuel stops, 
And a lot of these women would say, you look just like Alan Jackson. And they'd tell my buddy that he looked like Travis Tritt and my dad had the red beard and, and a certain nose and everything. And they'd tell him <laughs> he looked like Willie Nelson. And it was just, you know, we had this whole little country thing going on in our own little private place over there. But, you know, we grew up with a lot of that. Very we nice. Didn't grow up with it, but uh, we followed them from the start. And it was all great stuff. Leroy Parnell, all those guys, all good stuff back then. Miss a lot of that stuff. Yeah, we just did a... We just did a Willie Nelson tribute show with a bunch of artists uh, here in New England, um, and I, I was able to uh, sing a few songs. I sang uh, "Nightlife" and um, "Whiskey River." You know, there's some really great tunes from Willie Nelson. I was going to ask you, and finally, now I'm remembering. Do you where? What's your area that you play in? Do you come down to the South or down to Texas or anything? Nashville. Well, we do we do some fly out dates. I go to Nashville to do some writing. Uh, I have some friends down there. We do some writing, uh, but mainly, uh, unless we get picked up on a bigger tour, I, I don't really have any interest in in going out um, past New England and upstate New York. I mean, I do want to, and there we do have some friends all over the, the states and Canada, and even in, in the UK. I've talked to a lot of people because country is really huge there oh, yeah. as well. But but it's it's uh, it's not. It doesn't make sense for me, I mean, except for fun, right, uh, to, to, to go out and try to promote ourselves without a big machine behind you, with, you know, promoting a huge, you know, a single that has the capability of hitting the charts and that sort of thing. I know a lot of people that, that they have a lot of investors and they're spending a lot of money promoting singles uh, and they're touring. And then I know a lot of people that are just trying to tour on their own. It's just like they go out and they come back and, yeah, they have fun. Uh, they might have broken even, but you know. So you're playing at, at this it, point you're playing, in my life. I really try to be selective. You're playing it like a businessman, and there's nothing wrong with that. Thank you. Um, Believe uh, me, I, I would I would love to to tour full time. It just doesn't doesn't make sense to. Well, of course, if you, if you ever come to Texas, of course, you're more than welcome to come by here, and we'll uh, chat with you for a little bit. I think it'd be great. We have a listener in the chat room who wants to know uh, if you listen to Steve Morris. Steve Morris? No, I don't. But I will check him out. There you go. Yeah, well, we're hoping that Kelly Phillips will gather everybody to uh, to Texas somewhere, and she'll just gather you all up. You know, Lance Stinson, you guys, <laughs> and um, the Greg Finger Band, and we'll just have one big, huge party, and you guys can just sing for us and dance and la 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd love to do a Texas tour, though. Um, I've been, I've been trying to, to line something up and find a good booking agent or two in Texas, and I haven't had much luck because uh, there are some amazing venues. Uh, I want to say uh, Billy Bob's, I think, is a place I heard about. Right. Uh, there's a lot of places. Well, and I, I've toured Texas years ago when I was doing doing different style of music, and I've toured all, actually all over the States and Canada, but uh, that was that was a while ago. There's and that a wasn't lot country of, music, though. There's quite a number of great music scenes around you know, not just Austin, which, of course, there's Austin city limits and places all over Austin, but uh, Denton, Texas, right. which is not far from us, about 40 miles away. Um, it's quite the music Yeah, scene I've been now. to Denton. I did a show there. That's where we spent yeah. our honeymoon, believe it or not, and we live about uh, probably 20 miles from the Oklahoma border over here uh, east of Denton, like I said, about 40 miles or so. But Very nice. But a lot of great music places around here, you know, even the casinos. In Oklahoma, right here, have a lot of great country singers coming in there. Are you? Are you? Do you classify yourself as country? I've I've said that a few times. I guess I should make sure that that's uh, where you fall. Oh yeah, definitely. We're we're yeah, definitely country music. My uh, my dad and my brother and uh, my stepmom still live in Oklahoma. I have a cousin that lives in Dallas. I have a guy and family all over Oklahoma, um, and some in Texas as well. So I visit every now and then. Well, good. You ever come down here? Look us up. Be glad to have you stop by. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Thank you. Well, let me ask you uh, ten little quick questions here, and then we'll let you go, and we'll get back to the music. All right. Number one, what's your favorite word? Mm, love. Now, this is Internet radio. You can say anything you want, so don't be shy. Uh, what's, your, <laughs> <laughs> what's your least favorite word? Uh, shit. Um, loser. <laughs> <laughs> I married one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what turns you on? Uh, Besides yoga pants. Big Bo booties. Bo boners in yoga pants. <laughs> <laughs> Big booties in yoga pants. There you go. What turns you off? Uh, negative attitude. What sound do you love? 
Uh, an acoustic guitar with brand new strings. What sound do you hate? An out of tune acoustic guitar with brand new strings. <laughs> I should have known. Um, what's your favorite curse word? Fuck. That was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds pretty serious. <laughs> what profession other than your own? What profession other than yours or your own would you like to try? Uh, gosh. Um, acting. What profession would you not like to do? Uh, managing sewage. I was going to say, it's probably somewhere close to what Mike Rowe does. All right, number 10. <laughs> if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the Purdy Gates? Yeah, um... Jam it. <laughs> I, have no, I have no idea on that one. You know, hey, th thanks for coming. Party's over here. <laughs> yep, and you're going to be the star. Can't beat that, huh? Right. All right. Well, that's it. Um, I got. I just can't thank you enough for taking the time while driving to sit and chat with us. Well, I appreciate uh, uh, you guys having me. Yes, and have an amazing night. And uh, let us know about any up-and-coming albums or anything. You know, you can always call in the show anytime, you know, if you've got any new information for us any, or any cool songs for us to play. Oh, yeah, please do. Sounds good. I appreciate it. You're one of the crowd, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, now, the band name is Houston Bernard. What is your name? We've already asked you Houston Bernard. That. Oh, your name's the same. I, didn't, I guess I didn't realize it was the same exact name. Because you had said it was, that was your great-grandfather, or what was that? I was named after my uncle, Houston Bernard, that passed. When That's what it was. Okay. Well, my memory's about as long as right. my, uh... but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up over there. Wow. <laughs> you got to love a wife that you can just, like, put up with. <laughs> for sure. Well, thanks for having me, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Yes, thank, thank you very you much. So Take much. care of yourself and be careful, man. Thanks for coming. Bye. You too. Yep, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Trains, trucks, and good old country music with the Yankee and the Brit on RTM Radio. Oh, easy oh, there, big yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> that voice of his makes all the girls wet, especially the wife over here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Clean up an aisle, Brit. <laughs> Ah, hey, what's going on Saturday night, country night Saturday night, the Houston Bernard band, Houston Bernard himself was in here, great guy, man, and that music is just like, woo! And we've been playing some tunes by Keith Sampson, he's joining us tomorrow, and we've been playing some tunes That's by right. Keith Sampson of the Keith Sampson, Keith Sampson of the Keith Sampson fame, <laughs> I can barely say Keith Sampson, he's going to be here tomorrow night, that's which what I was going to say, yes. thanks for taking the words right out of my mouth, Ethel. All right, uh, here's another Greg Finger tune, uh, by request, of course. Home is in her eyes. Clean right up and all, Kelly. That's Clean right. up and all, Kelly. <laughs> Somebody get a mop. <laughs> if you're listening to the Yankee and the Brit on the RTM Radio Network, don't make me say it again. By request, Randy <laughs> Travis. Hey, I think I love... The Greg Finger Band. Anyway. Yeah. It's all good. Woohoo! A farmer and a teacher. Brian Randall and Heaven and Hank with Random Man and Donna. No comparison. Yes, another awesome guy we have had on this show. He's fantastic, isn't he? We just uh, love him. They all are. I just. I, I, I don't even know what to say. They're all so fucking cool. This is just great music. I don't even know. Just. I'm just. I, I'm, I, I, I was going to say I'm speechless, and I couldn't even say that. Like you're ever speechless. Uh, Come well, on. Well, hey, it's all good stuff, man. I've been jamming away over here. I'm also having a salad. And there's nothing better than a salad with egg in it. And boy, these cheap salads. But this puppy here with the additional eggs that we seem to have an endless supply of. Yes, we have a neighbor that brings us lots and lots of eggs. More eggs than we can actually Lots eat. of eggs? <laughs> we were up to about 10 dozen here a little while ago. And uh, I had to, they sat here so long, I had to do something with them. So the the birds enjoyed some of them. And the neighbors got some too. So, <laughs> But anyways, 
And I threw a bunch in the garden. And, of course, my mom went out and got them and put them in her mulch bucket or whatever she's making over there. So I can imagine what that smells like right about now. But all good stuff. All good. What a night, man. Houston Bernard Band, thank you, Houston Bernard, for joining us. I got his name right, by the way. And uh, don't forget, tomorrow night, Keith Sampson will be here. That's going to be good, too. And then the next Sunday... Where's where's my button? It's the Greg Finger. It's the Greg Finger Band! You're such a retard. I know, but look, it's my button. Uh, It's your button, all right. (laughs) Like I've said before, you know how to push them. Um, Cranky Pants says she doesn't remember Brian Randall. Oh, he was awesome. Maybe she wasn't here. Yeah, brilliant interview. Great music. He was pawn to us by Davey. Remember Davey? Um, Davey Montreux? Is it Montreux? Is that how you say his last name? Davey that plays the... uh, He he plays spoons on this draining board looking thing. Washboard. On a washboard on his chest. And he put... <laughs> that sounds a bit crazy, doesn't it? Just the way you but, talk about it is what makes it sound crazy. <laughs> is there any, Zydeco music. Is there any kitchen utensil that Davey does not use to play music? <laughs> he eats with his fingers. He doesn't use but, a fork. So but anyway, that? he put us on to Brian Randall and uh, just some great, great, great music. Yes, tell you. it is. It's all very good. And here's Billy Grimer, Sugar and Cream, and he, we were turned on to him from Joe, right? Yeah. Billy Grimer, Sugar and Cream. That's I know, stuff. that song will be in my head for weeks and weeks. You know, it gets, it just gets in there and it will not leave. Mm. We had the booby song in our head this morning, both me and Randy. <laughs> Randy was whistling it in the truck and I kept singing it. That song has cursed my life. Who knows where Hoda Joe is? He's off doing his thing. He was having Jeep problems too, so he might was be he? working on his truck. Yeah, remember the hood flew open and then it wouldn't start today and... Oh, I thought you said Joe, Joel. Joe! Your, your railway Joel's. friend. Cranky asked about Joe to Ho. Where is Samo? We've not heard for a word from Samo tonight. Well, we no, but we got the weather from him, so we know he's alive. No, we never. Yesterday we did. What the yesterday. hell? Yesterday. That was yesterday. Oh, I'm tired of talking to you. Yesterday. There's one for Uncle Larry. From me. The Yankee and the Brit. Yeah, them too. The old man told his story. About the years gone by How we played his home Down in New Orleans And some old dingy die I knew them all back then, he said As he reached out for his home He closed his eyes Wet his lips And then the blues were born He played with so much feeling Tears came from his eyes He stopped and reminisced a bit And then he gave a sigh He said, you know, I almost made it But that was before your time Dixieland, Hope Oak Blues Scatman Jack Wine. Slapped his knee and gave a grin It sure was good back then Reaching for his home on the floor Placed it in a old tote sack That hung across his back he said goodbye and shuffled out the door Enthused by what it told me I never got his name So I called the waitress over And started to explain A tired old man His tarnished horn and memory Years gone by How he played his home Reminisced Smiled with tears in the She said you are mistaken There's been no one but you But I know who you're talking about 
I used to know him too You'll find him down on Mason Street In the back of an old churchyard A stone that reads Rest in peace I tried but it sure was hard Slapped his knee and gave a grin It sure was good back then Reaching for his home on the floor Placed it in an old tote sack That hung across his back He said goodbye and shuffled out the door He said goodbye and shuffled out the door Trucks and good old country music with the Yankee and the Brit on RTM Radio. Queen makes these white man tacos. These things are really good. That's what I like about them. They yeah, stuff not burritos. Uh, Ted uh, tacos, Randy has that sauce. I tell you what, I put just a tinsy bit of that sauce on what, that taco the end sauce? of my yeah. I put a bit of that sauce on the end of my tongue, and I was cringing. I was shuddering. My eyes were squinting. <laughs> it's, it's not that, that strong. It's that tangy. Oh my gosh, it's just horrible. Love those Dairy Queen burrito or. Now you got me saying it. Those Dairy Queen tacos. Those things are really good. I like the Dairy Queen Texas toast. I tell you, I'm in love with the stuff. She's a Texas, Texas toast, toast freak all of a sudden. I am. Man. I just love it. So, did you, didn't you buy a loaf when we were in a store? No, I was going to. And then I thought, oh, I'll just scoff it down because it's so nice. So I thought, That's what I'll you just do with do, everything else? Why not? I, I thought I'll just uh, have it as a nice treat for when we're out. Why not scoff down some should, toast, Ethel? I think we should go to Dairy Queen tomorrow, seen as. As soon as you've Dairy Queen starved me. Well, somebody will pay their bill, we will. <laughs> I don't do the ice cream it. anymore, though, I'm afraid. I don't do dairy. I cannot do dairy. No, and ever since she quit doing ice cream and milk and cheese and all that crap, she all my health has been as close a to lot normal better. as she's ever going to get. <laughs> normal. <laughs> but yeah, boy, it uh, took, what, about a month? To yeah. figure out exactly what was making you upset, your upset stomach and well, sick. Well, no, it's, and... it's took it's took years actually, you know, uh, in honesty. But um, yeah, we've really, really been hammering it, you know, the past few months. And uh, yes, it's dairy that's well, been. Well, thank you, Uncle us. Larry. Forty-two friggin' stars from 42 the old boy. Forty-two stars for the Houston Burner Band and for the uh, Greg Finger Band. I've never tried Jack in the Box tacos. I eat there oh. once in a while and i just never tried them because usually fast food tacos and i will not eat a taco bell taco they give you the shits big time but i, had I never watch. tried one because i think the fast food tacos just aren't as good but for some reason no uh, <coughs> we were in dairy queen and i just had to have something different besides a freaking hamburger and i tried them and they're great what's that thing i had last week from uh, jack in the box um a big fat oh what's that yeah it was like it was a it wasn't a naan bread, and it, I don't think it was a pita bread. It might have been kind of pita breadish, and it had bits of chicken and onion in it. A it jack was, in the box? Yeah, do you remember? Mmm. Last week, and I was like, "It was a Mexican kind of thing, wasn't it?" I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it was. It was. It was quite nice. I can't believe we have forty-two stars tonight. Larry must have been getting emptying out the last of one of his. Cardboard boxes or something. Cardboard uh, box, cardboard okay, box full of stars. 
Three for 99 cents. What? I guess I'll try one then if that's the price. <laughs> that I can afford. That's about it, though. All righty, then. We've got about 19 minutes left over here. Let's have a few more jams. Uh, Little Jane and the Pistol Whips off the Larry oh, list Larry. Over here. Yes, the Larry list. At Red Red River. The RTM Radio Network. On a wonderful, exclusively fantastic Saturday night. Well, that's it for tonight, kids. Got to hit the highway. Time to get a little shut eye. <laughs> Chris said, Fax Jeep and Donna. How you guys live and survive without me, I'll never know. That is the question that I ask myself all the time, Chris. I got to tell you, it hasn't been easy. <laughs> and Larry wants to know if you've used your tobacco thing yet. No, I haven't had a chance. Hell, we've been working like <laughs> it's not Hebrew hard. slaves over here, man. <laughs> but thank you, everybody. Good night, all. Appreciate it. Thank you, Houston Bernard and yes, of the and Houston Bernard Band. Night Great guy. Frankie. Awesome music. And don't forget, tomorrow night we're going to have... The Little Richard Sampson. That's right. So that's uh, it's going to be a good show, too. So anyways, y'all be good for the night. Take care of yourselves. No driving and talking on the phone. <clears throat> Houston. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly, so much. You are the breastest ever. That's right. You guys are too much. We'll see you later. Say goodnight, Donna. Night, Donna. Hey, hey.